Is it possible to create an entire video using only AI tools? Script, voiceover, video generation, music, captions. With the AI tools that are available right now, is this possible? Can we create all these things only using AI? We're gonna find out even if it means downloading the most open source, leading edge, hosted yesterday machine learning models. And I'm pretty confident we can at least get a result. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Before we start, we need a topic. Um. I got it. I want to create a voiceover video about dogs being good boys and we do not deserve them. It's a good idea. All right, first things first, let's start with the script. For the script, we are going to use ChatGPT, but not any ChatGPT, ChatGPT4, because we have that power. All right, now for the prompt. Write me a voiceover script about dogs being good boys and how we do not deserve them. Make it witty. They say a man's best friend is a dog, but let's be honest, dogs are the real MVPs here. Welcome to this journey of love, loyalty, and lots of tail wagging as we explore why dogs are the ultimate good boys and how we, mere humans, simply don't deserve them. It's a good voiceover, but I think it was a little long, so I'm going to ask it to shorten it to a 30 second read. It doesn't even hesitate. Dogs, the ultimate good boys and girls, bring joy, love, and loyalty to our lives. They transform us into gleeful, toy-tossing enthusiasts and teach us to embrace life's simplest pleasures. Cut to a montage of dogs playing, cuddling, and performing tricks. From rocking fabulous outfits to heroically serving those in need, these furry MVPs show us the true meaning of unconditional love. We may not deserve them, but will strive every day to earn their wagging tails and soulful eyes. Dogs, our heart-melting heroes, we salute you. That was pretty good. Pretty good. And copy and paste. All right, we have the script. Now we have to find an AI to turn this into a voiceover. Let's see what we can find. All right, we got the tool. Let's put in a voiceover. Uh, let me just refactor this a little bit. Voice settings. All right, let's give this a go. Dogs. The ultimate good boys and girls bring joy, love, and loyalty into our lives. You know what would make this better though? If it was Morgan Freeman. I think we need to get Morgan Freeman up in here. Clone a voice, starter only. Subscription acquired. Okay, add voice, add voice, instant voice cloning. All right, one sec, one sec. Morgan Freeman audiobook. All right, I've trimmed up the audio, drag and dropped it in. Uh, it literally took a second. Let's see how it sounds. Dogs. The ultimate good boys and girls bring joy, love, and loyalty into our lives. Sounds like a pig squealing in the background. <laughs> I mean, I did get the source audio from a documentary. Might have something to do with it. But we'll strive every day to earn their wagging tails and soulful eyes. Dogs, our heart-melting heroes, we salute you. Sounds like there's a demon in the background. I mean, besides the pig squealing, it it's not bad. It's, it's good. I mean, it sounds like Morgan Freeman with the strangling a pig. It's Morgan Freeman, nonetheless, is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to use it. Now that we have the narration, it's time for the fun part. We're going to try and create a video. Can we generate AI video? Let me show you what we're working with. So I've already done a bit of research. I found a model. It's called ModelScope text to video synthesis. And the only way to run it is if I use the dedicated GPUs uh, on Hugging Face. The only problem with that is that if you forget to turn them off, you're looking at $2,600 per month. So we're not going to forget to turn them off. All right, we're booting up. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, I think I broke it. What did I do? Kill it, kill it, clear, 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 refresh, clear. What is going on? Please don't charge me $2,000. We got it rolling. This model is a text to video generator. So I can put in a prompt and it's going to try and generate a video using that prompt. Uh, so for example, I could say dogs cuddling. See how this turns out. Oh God. Okay, sure. Cute dogs cuddling. Oh gosh. Well, isn't this just splendid? Very, very normal dogs doing very normal things. Happy dogs running in a field. Oh no. Oh, I can increase the number of frames. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. While that's running, I want to take a look at my billing. See how much this is going to cost. We're only at 32 cents so far. Oh yes. Wonderful dogs performing tricks. As you can see, this is the current state of text to video generation. Let's try being more specific. A long cinematic shot of a dog backlit by the sunset. Okay, let's try giving it a little bit more detail. Matthew prompts for dogs to show. AI creates pixels in tow. Yet perfect art remains a dream. 
good-looking dogs, not quite the theme. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, I think I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn off the model, put it on pause. So that was like 70 cents, because I was already sitting at 11 cents. Not bad at all. But for now, what's left? I think we need some music. While researching for this video, I found a website that allows you to kind of remix and adjust the, the mood of songs. Uh, so we're gonna use that as our AI music tool. It's called Sound Raw. So the idea here is that it takes a song and like chops it up into like blocks. Like you just click on low and it'll change to medium high uh, very high and yeah so then you kind of like morph how your song flows Matthew searched and searched until he found the LOL JK. We already did this bit. So it seems like it's actually generating the song at the moment rather than just downloading the song. It just took so long. All right I did some more digging found one that I like. Here we go. It's more just sentimental. We're gonna go from a low to a medium. Into the high. Yeah. Into the very high. Get some, some pads in there. Down to, back down to a low to finish the video. All right, moving on to the next step, we got to get into the editing. We got the narration, we got the music, we got the visuals, and now we got to put them all together. This video is sponsored by CapCut Video Editor. You may have heard of CapCut before or seen their templates on other social media. CapCut is a full-scale video editor on any device. It supports mobile, desktop, and in your browser. And honestly, I was blown away at the amount of features you can use for free on any device. CapCut has a growing library of very impressive AI effects, effects I haven't seen in any other editing software. For example, I can cut myself out in practically real time. No rotoscoping, no tracking, just click process, good to go. Look at this effect, it uses AI data to track my face and apply effects. And this effect. And this effect. I hope I selected some good effects there. And look at this, you can even do real time beauty filters. Or you can just stretch your face. But what's impressive is how easily you can achieve these effects. CapCut also has built-in royalty-free music that you can use in all your videos. Just browse the music tab, drag and drop. Don't forget about motion graphics. CapCut has a full-fledged motion graphics system built right in. And it is stacked with designs. I bet you all recognize this. Another nice feature is auto captioning. We're gonna be using that today. So if you're looking for a free AI-powered video editor, take a look at CapCut. Thanks again to CapCut for sponsoring this video. All right, that being said, let's jump into it. Stop Start by pulling in our videos, grabbing our music, and don't forget our wonderful voiceover. First up, we gotta add a fade. Oh, that's easy. Just a fade in slider. All right, let's pull in that the voiceover. I wonder, noise reduction. Hold up. So all that time I wasted looking for some sort of audio noise reduction, it was just in CapCut this whole time. Pull in all the footage. Now we need a good fade in. Give me that fade. We need more dog videos. Back to the cursed AI. Oh. Okay, what did, why couldn't we get normal looking dogs last time? Okay, why is it working so well now? Oh wow. That is something. Let's try Australian Shepherd, because that's what I have. <laughs> what? Dog wearing fireman outfit. <laughs> Those in need. These furry MVPs. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think this video really needs much effects, but I do want to add some sort of like LUT or color to it. Pretty subtle, just threw a, threw a filter on there. Let's see if we can find like a nice motion graphic. What if it just is dogs? We're gonna try creating some captions. Just hit create and we'll see what happens. Nice. Add a little height, add a little width. Maybe we can change the font, something a little nicer. I like that. We'll lower the font size. Dogs, the ultimate good boys and girls bring joy, love and loyalty into our lives. They transform us into gleeful, toy-tossing enthusiasts and teach us to embrace life's simple pleasures. From rocking fabulous outfits to heroically serving those in need, these furry MVPs show us the true meaning of unconditional love. We may not deserve them, but we'll strive every day to earn their wagging tails and soulful eyes. Dogs, our heart-melting heroes, we salute you. That was interesting, for sure. 
<laughs> Looking at this end result, it really shows us kind of this unique point we're at right now in AI. We've kind of got a grasp on this media synthesis thing, but we're not quite there. The dogs are terrifying, literally nightmare fuel, but I guarantee you, give this three months, it's gonna be completely different. This is exactly what happened the last time I tried to clone my friend Derek. It is wild how quickly this stuff escalates. The text to video model that I used is literally brand new. From my understanding, it was literally posted yesterday, so this is just fresh out of the gate. Edited using CapCut's free editor, super easy to use, gotta say dragging and dropping footage around trimming does all the things you need to do highly highly recommend check out the links down below the voiceover literally if i had a better data set it would have been perfect music was pretty cool the transition between sections was a little rough i think that's just something that 11 labs has to work out although the output is kind of mucky i'm still i'm still happy with it i think it was a fun video i think it was pretty good i think it's just a glimpse into what ai is going to be doing next but i want to hear from you guys tell me what some of your thoughts are on all of this where do you see this going do you think that we're gonna just be like dragging dropping promotional videos do you think marketing agencies are just gonna crumble what, what's going on are video creators gonna lose a job thanks again to CapCut for sponsoring this video if you enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe hit that like button and stick around for the next one